Hi, I'm Rick Dior. Today I'm going to teach you how to put gut snares on a regular snare drum. By regular, I mean a Ludwig Superphonic or Acrylite, which a lot of you have. It's pretty much the best-selling snare drum of all time. And I'll show you how to do that and what strainer to use, what throw-off to use. Um, but first, we're going to talk a little bit about the history of gut snares. Now, a lot of you have sent me questions since I started posting those Nard videos, because on those videos I'm using an old 1920s Ludwig drum that has gut snares on there. They've been on there for years and years, uh, probably 50 or 60 years, I would think at least. And um, I know that because I got the drum from uh, my friend who retired from the symphony, and he was in the orchestra for close to 50 years, and I've used it for the last 10 years or so uh, with the orchestra and at home. So gut is a different kind of sound if you haven't played on it. It is a little bit difficult to play on compared to regular snares because it's just a tighter sound. It's not as forgiving. Uh, it does give you a real snappy uh, kind of thing that's great for rudimental music. It's also very thick sounding. Now they do make synthetic gut uh, and that is made by companies like Pearl, uh, Old Slingerland, you could find those synthetic snares, and Ludwig, of course, makes synthetic gut. So you'd be able to find that. But it's called cat gut, but it's not made from cats. So don't go out and start catching feral cats and making snares. Uh, you know, it's really sheep gut is what it is. And I took out uh, some snares from an old parade drum, a 15-inch that I use sometimes. And these are original gut snares. Now that other drum is not here today. It's up in the uh, mountains in that studio. So I'll be doing a separate video on that um, snare drum and tell you all about that really soon. And you'll see those snares. But today, like I said, we'll show you how I put these on and how I treat them and all that. Now the thing to know about gut is it's a natural material, obviously, okay? <laughs> Coming from inside the sheep there. Uh, sort of like calf heads. So the weather is going to affect it adversely. Uh, whereas plastic heads don't get affected that much by the weather. As you know, calf heads can be affected a lot and quickly. Well, gut's the same way. So it can loosen up on you and end up being just quite a problem because it is a natural substance. First of all, you'll need to get the correct strainer. I'm sorry, some of these drums are going to ring when I talk. It's just the nature of it. And I will show you different uh, snare strainers or throw-offs uh, here in a minute. But the one I love to use uh, is going to be the um, Ludwig P83 strainer. So it's an older strainer that you can get. Um, it was used on many, many, many drums. It's very common in the... Um, 40s, 50s, 60s, okay? Now, there's other strainers, too, that work. In a pinch, you can use a Pioneer strainer, which is this, which is a smaller strainer, and you see how the bottom of this piece here is bent down on some of these. That's a, that's a problem, okay? The other thing about these Pioneers is the holes aren't very big. So if you see the, the holes there, they won't take... A lot of times they won't take the um, the gut because it's too thick. So that's something to be really aware of. Now the strainers you want to avoid and won't work anyway are the um, P85s. That's a P85. I took this Vistalite out. And then there's another one on this Acrylite Black Galaxy that looks different, okay? But these are different years uh, when they were made. But stay away from that strainer in general. <laughs> But, uh, but definitely it won't work with the gut because it has to have those holes. Now, this is another really old snare drum. Uh, and this is a Pioneer strainer. See how small it is there. And then the plate is straighter this time compared to this one down here. Okay. So you can use gut with these. All right. No, I'm not using it on this drum, obviously, now. And a few more things to know. Uh, the modern orchestra snare drums will not use mostly gut anymore, although I do, but uh, I also use calf heads. A lot of people don't use those anymore. Uh, what they'll use is snare systems. So in other words, this is um, a black swamp snare. And you see this has five different snares. This is their multisonic strainer, very complicated. 
I'm not a huge fan of it. But it's a nice snare drum. Sounds good. And you see there's everything on here. You know, cable, wire, even curly snares. All right. And then the pearl drums also have great strainer systems. And you see there, that's one. This is one I will use with the orchestra. And you see it has different kinds of steel cable on there. All right. And you can order this. And I mix and match those depending on what I'm doing. So these systems are very advanced, very, very much well made. In fact, Pearl's got a new version of this uh, throw off. That's really nice. These are all the old ones. So that's another version. Also Majestic, uh, that company has uh, a five point snare system as well with really the most um, snare choices I've ever seen. You can even put beads on there, wood beads. It's great. I have one of those drums as well. It's not here right now. Uh, the problem with those strainers, they're very, very touchy. There can be a lot of itch issues with things coming loose and it's kind of a pain in the neck. But when it works, it's great. I'll show you a few more things here. This is my old marching drum from the 70s. And this is synthetic gut, okay, Ludwig. And these particular strainers, you could adjust each individual strand and tighten it, <clears throat> which was a great innovation by, by Ludwig. So that's really, really good and handy. And it works with synth synthetic gut here, you see that. And this is the Ludwig classic throw off, which you know I love. And then finally, this is a really old 50s or 60s Swingerland Parade Drum. It's a Sound King. And you see those snares. That's what's what I call metal gut. It's basically string wrapped with wire. And this is really, can sound really good. I'll probably do a video on this eventually. And this strainer, if you can find one, they're hard to find. The Sound King strainer works great with gut. You see it. You see the holes there. All right. So if you find one of these on Reverb or eBay, all beat up, cheap, it's almost worth it just for the strainer so you can use that. And we'll see in a minute, all these bottom parts of these strainers come off. So you don't have to change the whole thing out. You just change the bottom out when you want to change out the snares, which is very handy. Okay, so that's it for the snare show and tell. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> I have one more Radio King and that strainer, this Radio King strainer, will work as well, but it's not my first choice because it's got the plates underneath, so the wrap gut on there is really, really uh, tedious. But it will work, okay, on, a, on an old Radio King. You can, and it sounds good. I've used them on here. But we'll put this away, too. All right, but what we're going to do today is we're just going to take this um, old standard issue Superphonic, nothing special, a gazillion of these things out there, but it's got the, um, this one's from the 60s, it's got that really good uh, strain um, throw off here with the hole straight down, that's what you want to use. And I believe that's a P83, okay? Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll use this for demonstration purposes today. So, again, what I do is I'll buy these things, use these bottom parts of the Ludwig P83s, all right? And then I will put the gut on there, like that. And I'll just have them laying around and I'll take them off and on. So what you do is you loosen this thing up here. That is the tightening screw for your throw off should work fine keep it oiled and last forever and this will pop right off see okay and then you just feed it through now you're gonna probably have to take the head off for this to do it right but you'll just feed it through there all right and we're not going to do that now so I don't have a whole bunch of time today but that would just go through and then to get it off you just have to take the head off so it's not that big of a deal. and then here what you would do is you just take, you just loosen this with the screwdriver and pull out the snares. All right. And then what happens, and I think I can do this without taking the whole snare system off, is you'll put this on there 
like that and it'll just clip right on and then you just tighten it up all right all the way now sometimes the threads won't work so just make sure that you have the correct threads but mine do okay on this one anyway and then put the put them through and you'll have to uh, feed these through and I usually do them like two at a time it's to be as you can see in this one or two at a time like that all right and get them through there and we'll just do one and once you get that through you loosen the butt plate put them through the butt plate and then pull them really really tight okay uh, each one and then when you get when you get them all in there I leave this kind of loose so it's just got a little bit of play in there you know a little bit of tightness but I can still get them through then what you're gonna do is group them together like this and straighten them out this is where the trouble comes and then really pull them all right and then you're gonna tighten this and that's it it's really really simple and I'll show you that other drum because it's already set up for gut snares when we do that video so look out for that one but it's the main thing is having them already set on this plate here now getting them through is pretty simple all you do is you're gonna cut a piece of gut all right that's depending on the drum all right uh, like so if it's a 14 inch drum you're gonna gonna cut it like 30 inches at least that's what I do all right maybe 32 and then you'll fold it over it's kind of like using a string trimmer you know when you put the wrap the string trimmer in the spindle turn this over here so you'll fold it over and then you'll just stick it through here and make sure they're even and if they're not just cut a little bit off and that's it it's very simple now this particular uh, throw off holds six wires but that equals 12 individual strands because you're folding them over so you get two for one there all right so I would suggest just messing around uh, you can buy one of these you probably have one if you have an Acrylite or um, a Superphonic and any of those it'll fit it'll work that's the drum to use for this for the gut and then if you want to put them on other snares you're probably gonna to have to get a different strainer uh, there's other ways to do it um, but you really gotta spend a bunch of time you know modifying things which I don't like to do I don't like drilling holes and drums if they don't already you know if they don't need to be drilled at all now these old pioneer strainers are more difficult because like I said earlier the holes are just a little bit smaller but it will work if you have one of these um, like you know a black beauty will work that's not doesn't use a pioneer strainer but but these old Ludwig specials or um, this brass drum uh, does and I have a number of these drums uh, the real old ones Okay, so I hope that helps answer a lot of these questions I've been getting on how to do it. Uh, but you will want to polyurethane these for sure. Because they're going to, the weather's going to affect them. And these, like I said, these are polyurethane. You can probably see the shine on there. Uh, I don't have any gut snares right now that aren't polyurethane, but they look real raw. Actually, if you go onto um, uh, the internet and search counter hoop that's a company that sells drum parts they're, it's great and you can probably find some gut snares and you can see them at least if they're sold out what they look like and they'll be called cat gut but again they're not cat guts they're sheep all right uh, so I think that's I think I covered everything and if I didn't send me an email or or you can leave um, comments as you always do here uh, and I'll respond Thanks so much. We'll see you soon.